On tonight's show, we have the owner of Organic Beauty by Drea, Andrea Williams. And now for your host, Cool Paul. What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode 32. Kicking with Cool Card, I am your host, Cool Card. Welcome back. Uh, for those who are first for the first time people that are tuning in, they're first time tuning in. Um, and if you have not already subscribed, I invite you to do so, so you can you know keep up with me and I can keep bringing the value that I get from my guests and just give it to you. I mean, my show is all about bringing value to the end user. Um, last week we had Michael Blackson on, actor, comedian. You know, he needs no introduction. You already know who he is. Um, Man, I love the interview. It was great. And I love the fact that we got a chance to sit down and have a, a real conversation uh, without a bunch of jokes. Because I really got to see him as, a, as who he is, you know, on his day to day, per se. You know what I mean? We had a real good down to earth conversation. And I think he appreciated that. I know I appreciated it. So, um, yeah, and I hope you guys took something from it. Because, I mean, he was dropping a lot of game if you're in the entertainment business or just uh, if you're a comedian or anything like that. And if you have not seen it, please go watch it because he dropped a lot of gems. It wasn't just jokes. You know what I'm saying? So we talked real business, real life stuff here. Um, yeah, so it was a really good interview. But tonight, man, um, back on the entrepreneur tip, I have another female who's doing her thing. Um, she is a nutrition coach. She has her own business called Beauty, Organic Beauty by Drea. Don't let me butcher the name. Organic Beauty by Drea dropped off a little water here for me you know so i'm about to get my sip on you know i got my little cup so i'm gonna get my little sip on and see if uh you know my, my skin clears up drinking that uh organic beauty by Dre water <laughs> but no i got some samples from her business um she has organic juices and elixirs and all types of good stuff man for your body keep you healthy i got some samples so i'm gonna taste them on the show let you guys know how they taste and what they do and how they make my body feel good. So without further ado, her name is Andrea Williams. She is the owner. She is a nutrition coach and she's doing her thing. And what I like about her is she's just getting going with her business. And, and I like that because I brought people on who have, who are well on into their journey with their business. Well, guess what? She just started, but she's doing her thing. She has clientele. And I like that because she can kind of give us a, a an overview of how she got started and what it takes for her to get going and how it has been for her to get going so without further ado bring her in with a nice cool car intro and we're gonna talk to her and we'll let her tell you all about it let's get it Andrea, welcome to the show. How you doing? Hey, I'm good. How you doing, E? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Can't complain. I really appreciate you coming on. Um, Thank you for having me. Yeah, man. I, I really appreciate you coming on and um, being able to, um, well, being willing to be transparent about your journey with your business. Um, like I mentioned in the intro, you, you, I know you're just getting started. Um, but you're but you're well on into getting started because you've actually have product. You dropped off some samples to me. Like who does that, right? <laughs> so it was important that you taste it because it's so good. Yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait. I got I got a couple here, y'all. So man, we are gonna get into it. Can I drink like the whole bottle down? Can I? Of course, yeah, of course. It's just a two ounce. That's just a, a two ounce sample. So yeah, go ahead. Okay, all right. So a little bit later on in the show. I'm a drink right now. I'm gonna enjoy this fresh water she brought me too. But I'm uh, <laughs> later on. We're gonna do some taste testing and um, talk more about her products and everything. So yeah, man, it, it's gonna be good. So um, I know you're just getting started, and when people think about organic beauty, 
I'm pretty sure the first thing that comes to mind is like makeup, you know, skincare, stuff like that. But you're, I mean, I, I guess this is a culmination of all because I, I know that you've done makeup in the past. Yes. Um, yeah, right. <laughs> so I guess it's a culmination of all because I'm pretty sure it's going to kind of get back around to that. But you are specializing in like juices and, and, and elixirs and stuff like that, right? Exactly. Um, juices that beautify you from the inside out. So I'm into um, eating for the purpose of beauty, um, eating for the purpose of being happy, healthy, and beautiful. So mm. that's what it's all about, you know? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, and and did you, like, I know you were modeling, right? I know you're modeling. Yeah. So you want to beautify yourself and all that. Did that have anything to do with you getting into that? It did because, you know, with my uh, modeling, I get so many compliments on my, you know, whether it's my hair or my teeth or mm. my body. Most of, you know, that was the big thing was my body. And so I wanted to have a business that I could, I could merge the two. So when people say, oh my God, your skin is so pretty or, oh my God, your hair is so beautiful. I could say, Here's I a use sample. this, you know, <laughs> you know, as on Instagram with social media, you know, everybody has a business, or at least I felt like right. that. And I was like, I want a business. <laughs> <laughs> I want something I could work. I want somebody to click the link in my bio. <laughs> right, right. So I was like, you know what? Um, it just all happened so organically. I juice, you know, that's my lifestyle. Okay. I've been juicing for about five years. Okay. Um, it's yeah. Been taking CMOS for about a year. Okay. Um, so. I do this stuff so it just made sense right. it's so weird how we overthink things but it it just made it sense just like sense. Well, i should have been doing this a long time ago right <laughs> especially if you have a passion for it and you're really into it and you, you know big passion yeah. yeah i love i'm always on some uh, people who know me like family and friends i'm always on some type of diet but okay. these days i'm more so into intuitive eating right mm -hmm. yeah eating eating for a purpose eating yeah. Of beauty. Yeah. And yeah, so for me, for sure. the purpose of, you know, me being young, you know, I'm not sick. I'm, I don't have diabetes or any type of health illnesses. So me being young, I just want to look beautiful. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I'm like, you know what? Let me find out what foods, let me research what foods will make my hair grow. But let me right. research what foods will make my skin glow and will get rid of my acne. Cause I'm contrary to what people think, you know, I'm black and you know, I, I, people assume that I'm mixed and I'm, I don't know where that comes from, but I'm black and I, I've, you know, black I, and early I, skin. Uh, have, <laughs> but you know, my skin, I have acne prone skin. I even had adult acne. I had acne before, when I was young. Oh, okay. I, I remember my mom taking me to the dermatologist. It was serious. Okay. It was no over the counter medicine for my acne. It was really bad. So um, once I learned what foods, what help eradicate those mm -hmm. issues i just started consuming those only and i love yeah. food that's the thing I'm, i love food so i'm like let me eat foods that's gonna do something that's gonna do something for you yeah do you think that it was something that you were eating that was contributing to your acne something that you I were putting in your body do. um i definitely do ever since i stopped eating dairy mm, everything okay. changed everything changed when i stopped eating dairy so um i just recently stopped eating dairy I cut back before um, um, from like cheddar cheeses and Amer American cheeses. Um, I started just doing feta and goat cheese. It, I, it was a trickle down effect. It wasn't cold okay. turkey. Yeah. Um, and did you instantly now, see I, I a difference? Do, I don't. A big difference. Yeah. Big difference when I stopped eating cheese um, in my skin. Big difference when I stopped eating beef and pork. Oh yeah. I'm still eating that pork though. I mean, I, I mean. <laughs> bacon is something, isn't it? A, that's not release dopamine when you smell and taste bacon. Bacon is amazing. Oh my God. Listen, that's the one thing that like could get me off my little, you know, that's, that's the yeah. one thing if I cheated, it would be with bacon. That bacon, man. I'm telling you. Oh my God. Listen, I bring, when I go on cruises, I bring my own bacon bits because you don't, know they going to Don't you. not say that. It's you know they're gonna serve you salad every day, and I got a salad every day, and I piled on the bacon. I'm like, I'm gonna uh, eat this salad and be good. But you know what? There's a lady. She's a black lady. She was, uh, I think, she lived to be 110 or 12 years old, 
she ate bacon every day. That was her secret. Wow. That's why I don't believe when they say nutrition, you, you know, a lot of these studies that, you know, with me studying nutrition, I don't believe in eating for the, for the purpose of living longer. You yeah, know, God, yeah. when it's when it's our time to go, it's our time it's to our go. It's our time to go, yeah. I so mean, you moderation. Eat for the purpose of being happy, healthy, and beautiful. That's my purpose. You Absolutely. Know, to live longer, nah. Because the lady was 112 years old. She ate bacon every day. <laughs> bacon every listen. I don't have day. plenty of people. You know, people from the south. I'm from the south, in Mississippi. They're deep south, so. Uh, you know, people down there, man, they're going to eat everything on the pig but the oink. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> and I've, had, <laughs> I've had elders that live, you know, 90s. I, not, I don't think 100. Eh. I may have a great grandma who lived to be like 101. But yeah, I've had, you know, high 90s, high, high 80s. Yeah. And psh, ate horrible. You know what I mean? Like horrible. So... Our ancestors were, you know, unpaid indentured servants, right? Mm -hmm. They were, they were, you know, they call them slaves. I call them unpaid indentured servants. Yeah. And they were fed the worst. Yes, indeed. The, the scraps. And, and they didn't have a medical. They Nothing. lived and survived through the worst conditions. And we are the, you know, we, 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 we are the grandchildren. We are, we are, you know here now today because of them yeah so our immune systems that's why they can't do nothing with us <laughs> right exactly they can't do nothing with us because we, look where we come from look who our ancestors are you yeah. know yeah and i will say too back then the food was a little bit better because they didn't have all the better quality but still yeah chiller, chitterlings it's no quality ain't no quality no goddamn <laughs> chitlins, man <laughs> i can't eat chitlins I ate chillers one time and I was on the toilet for about an hour. Like, <laughs> hell no. Hell no. Oh my God. Nah, I can't put that stuff in me. It, it's like, yeah. ugh. Like, see, listen, I love bacon and I eat the ribs, but everything else, it does kind of make me feel bad because I think like just certain pieces or certain parts of the pig that are extra greasy and I eat it and I just feel that grease in me. Like I feel it. And I'm just like, Ugh, I can't do it. So like bacon, you know, ribs or whatnot, I'm good with that. All the other stuff, eh, I can't do it. People be eating the weirdest stuff, man. I can't do it. <laughs> but you know what, E? Your skin looks so good. I appreciate it. And so that's what I believe in. If it, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I feel like people take, people treat nutrition like it's a religion. Yeah, they do. They do. And, you know, like the people who, listen, I love Dr. Sabi and, um, Shout out to his family, and I, you know, I study his nutrition guide, and I, I have a lot of my my menu is seventy percent alkaline. Mm, okay. um, I believe in what he says when it comes to healing the body, but some people are so diehard Dr. Sabi, and they're like, "Well, you can't you can't say you support Dr. Sabi, and you're eating meat still, or you're right. eating like I still eat fish, but I support Dr. Sabi. But right. I, I'm gonna eat fish because fish produces collagen in the body. I eat wild caught fish. Yeah, um, and I don't see nothing wrong with fish. I know that. Most people who um, follow Dr. Sabi's teachings, they say, well, it's a carrier of um, uh, parasites, but so is water. So is the tap water that we mm -hmm. have that, that comes out of our, our, our faucet. You know, um, so does your pet. If you have a pet animal, you know, they carry parasites too. So yep. parasites also die when they're, when, fro when the meat is frozen mm -hmm. and they also die when under, when it, when it's heated. Yeah. So I cook my fish. Yeah. <laughs> I don't yeah, know about you. Everything I cook. Listen, I mean, I'm, I'm eating, eating nothing that's, rare. That's not, a, that's not a strong enough argument for me to not eat fish. Sorry. Yeah. Try again. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 everything got to be charred for me. I like my meat. Damn near tough. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm going to eat fish. I cannot live my life according to Dr. Sadie's nutrition guide for me personally. Yeah. But I do believe 95% of what he says about the foods, you know, that he, um, you know, I did cut out, I cut back on garlic, um, because he mentioned that, you know, garlic was acidic and mm. I listened to what he says, but you also have to take things with, the, with a grain of salt. Nutrition is so unique to each individual. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, sure. it's, it's so unique. And then, and like I said, you have to be happy. If you love bacon and bacon makes you happy, I'm going to be happy. <laughs> release that dopamine. <laughs> I'm going to be happy. And I listen, all that stuff that he talks about, 
yes, you, you got to take it in and, and, and digest it and take from it what you want to take from it. But I do know that the alkaline and the mucus, all that stuff is true. You know true. what I'm saying? True. Especially during this season. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because what, cause what do you have most of when you're sick? That mucus. What happens when you get rid of it? You know what I mean? Like and I, that's I, why I, I think right now it's really important to cut back on dairy more than ever. Yeah. Um, whether it's not even about beauty it's about you know um there's so many ways to die let's not let let one of them be coronavirus right we don't have time for that right right Right. we don't have time for that we need to um cut back on the dairy because that's mucus that's there's nothing but mucus and it creates mucus in the body right absolutely so if you want to eradicate that you know you have to first stop eating the things that cause the mucus yeah um right now is the best time to use the alkaline diet until they you know, fix this mess they created. Definitely. Create it. <laughs> Definitely. So let's talk about how you started your business. Like, what does it take for someone that's watching that may be thinking about doing what you're doing or just trying to get started, period? Like, what did it take to just get started? What did it take to transition from what you were doing? I know you're doing the makeup. I know you're doing other things. Like, what did it take for you to just say, hey, you know what? This is it. I'm going to get going and go. Because a lot of people will have an idea, have the know-how, but still don't take that step. That's me. (laughs) So (laughs) this is the first thing. um, I'm sure I have some family who will watch this or who are watching. They're like, I can't believe she's doing it. (laughs) (laughs) You just got to do it. You just got to go for it and do it. Yeah. Okay. Um, Don't overthink it. You know, I have so many things going in my head. It's like I came up with this idea you know, I was, I was depressed, um, going through it, trying to figure out life, Yeah. you know, and this was, I just started my business in May, the, the end of May. So I don't, I'm more than certain. I'm not the only person who was going through that. Oh, for sure. Um, I, you know, at one point after coronavirus came out, um, and then it was the threat of murder hornets and all this stuff. Um, it's always something. I was like, you know what? The, I felt like the world was coming to an end. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> I went to LA, visited my friend. Like, <laughs> I spent some money on a credit card that I didn't even have. Like, I was like, you know what? Screw all this. I'm just gonna live life. <laughs> and you know what? That was the best decision I ever made. Because when I got back from LA, I had $180 in my account. And I had an EBT card in the mail. When I when I got home, I had an EBT card in the mail. And I was like, I forgot I even applied for this. Right. I had, you know, I wasn't working or anything. I didn't have any income. And I didn't know what I was gonna do. But that time away gave me a chance to let some wheels start turning. Yeah. Clarity. And you know, when you don't have any when you when your back is against the wall and you don't have anything else going for yourself, that's when God shows shows up and oh, shows out. Man, listen. Go on and preach, sister. Go and on so and preach. I came back to Atlanta. I had an EBT card. I have a juicer because I juice. And I was like, oh, I have an EBT card. I can buy organic fruits and stuff now. <laughs> I can afford it now. <laughs> right. Before I was buying regular because it's so expensive Look for at me that. to buy organic. You a know? blessing in disguise, man. And so I was like, well, wait a minute. I could sell juices. But then I had another voice say, oh, it's a pandemic. No one's going to buy juices. Why would people want to buy juices? People are losing their jobs. No one's going to have the money for this stuff. Right. E, when I tell you all these great ideas just started surfacing, and then I have a great friend. Um, shout out to Deanna Johnson. She um, put me on to this lady named Patrice Washington. And if you um, have never heard of her, you really need to look her up. She will help you find your purpose in life. Virtually, this lady changed my life. Wow. And she taught me how to carve out my target market. Mm. She taught me how to find, you know, my niche. It was, it was, she taught me so much virtually. Yeah. And then I started going on spiritual retreats. Um, like one was $20. You know, with the wow. coronavirus was like a blessing in disguise for most of us. Yeah, um, for sure. Things became cheap. And so I went on a spiritual retreat and and God just spoke to me. 
I just kept, I isolated, I isolated myself from all my friends and my family. I didn't talk to nobody, mm -hmm. you know, and um, I just wanted to hear from God and what he thought about my situation and why I was in this situation and how I could get out of it. Yeah. And um, I have another good friend, Sarah Eager. She taught me breath work. And so I started practicing breath work and meditation and I just listened to God and I just went with it. And sometimes you just, when your back is against the wall and you don't have any other choice, but to go, you, you have to jump. Yeah, you gotta jump, man. You gotta and jump. And I did it. And E, I had so much support. People who I didn't even know were like, oh man, I've been wanting to juice. I've been wanting to detox, man. I need to do something <laughs> about this. Like, oh man, I put on this quarantine 15. I, I'm trying to get this off. Like, and I didn't realize because I wasn't getting any of that pandemic relief money that everybody everybody else was getting at the time, yeah. the employment. And I didn't qualify for none of that. So I didn't realize people actually have money out, especially in Atlanta. This is a, right. this is a rich people in Atlanta. Right, right. right. Just tell you, that's some people with money out here. <laughs> and they were buying my juices. And I was like, oh, my God, people are really supporting me. Even my ex Beyonce bought some juices. I was like, I didn't know you was following me. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he bought some juices and had Postmates. You know, I have uh, my deliveries are done by Postmates. Okay. So, um, girl, you, know, you got he, it all set up. I got it. Listen, and, and I figured it out. You know, me. I always say, me, God, and Google. We. That's the Trinity right there. We Man, figured it I'm out. I'm telling you. God, <laughs> and, listen. Um, God made room me, for you. God, Google, we got it together. I, I, I built my own website, figured it out. I didn't know how to do that. Figured it out. Figured it out. But I love photography, so I, I made my juices. I found my, I found what bottles. All this stuff just kind of got revealed to me, and I yeah. started seeing visions of this stuff coming, coming, coming to me. Yeah. And I just put it all together, and then I, I, um, I hired someone through Fiverr best, uh, to create best my website logo. Website ever. Listen, if you're out there and you want to start a business, you hire people through Fiverr. Fiverr. You hire these independent contractors. They will create. My logo was created. I think I paid fifty dollars for it. Yep. Um, you know, I have some family members like my mom, um, some people who are blessings to me. My uncle. Um, you know, I had some money sent to me for my, my birthday it was June second, so I had so a lot of birthday money, unexpected birthday money. One guy sent me some birthday money, and he was an Instagram follower. He just sent me. He was like, "What's wow. your cash app?" Money just came to me from nowhere. From God. From God. From God, man. And I he took shows that up. money and I invested it in my business, and I believed in my business. I knew it could work, and I didn't let my I didn't let my other you know negative self yeah. talk me out of it. Mm -hmm. We all got and that. I just went we all for have it. it, and it and it all comes to you. And so it's not about. Well, I can't do this because of X, Y, Z. Is how can how? I make this work how can, with X, Y, Z existing? Exactly. And once you start, man, listen. Just the power of thought. What you think? How? How? Yep. When you start thinking how? How? He makes a way every make it time. Work. Every make time. It work. Figure it out. Make you it will figure because you because your mind starts working. He starts that that tool that he gave you, the most powerful thing you got, starts working in that direction to figure it out. And you will not stop until it's figured out. You and cannot I'm accept you, the no. support. The support is real. The support is real. Atlanta, I am so grateful and thankful to Atlanta. Atlanta has really been yeah. keeping me busy. And it's to a point where, you know, I got a job offer. Uh, I, I work in project management. That's mm. really what I do. But, um, you know, and then when I lost my job in doing that in 2018, um, I started hanging out with, you know, this girl, this really talented girl. She's in the industry. And, um, you know, she started bringing me around to different industry, industry parties. And right. so I meet, I started meeting all these different celebrities and stuff and hanging out and doing that type of networking and that was fun but it was also a distraction from my true like purpose right and um so i finally manifested another job offer i had another i have another job offer but i was like this job will come right now when my i just figured out a business 
I needed two last year. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? But now, I mean, you know, it's it's just about how am I going to make this work? Because I want that consistent income. I was just going to say that. I was just going to say that. Don't turn it down if you don't oh, have to. You got to figure out how to make it work make so it we work. can fund what you're doing. And, and me and who was I talking to about that? I was just talking to another guest about that. Like you cannot, like to the, to the youth, they think that is so, un, not, not uncool, but they feel like they can't work and go after their dreams at the same time. And they gotta be this starving artist. No, the days of that is over with. Like you gotta have some type of quality of life. You gotta be able to fund your dreams. You gotta be able to just be able to do the things that you like so you can have something to talk about. Say if you're doing music, it can't all be about the struggle. You want you want to celebrate too. So be able to afford to go celebrate so you can talk about that. Like really live what you're rapping so that it comes off organic and it's just better music because we all know when you're lying and it sucks you know what i'm saying we all know when you're lying and it because it sucks we hear it we know it so if you're living it man it's gonna come through so true and it's gonna just be so organic and that's when people can connect and really connect with you so i say all that to say this if you have to work a nine to five just make it work for you i'm telling you god will make room for whatever it is you're chasing after Put him first. Trust in him. He's going to make room. You have PTO. You got sick days. You'll figure it out. Trust me. I'm an actor. And listen, I figure it out. You know what I'm saying? Like I used to be out, out there hustling, doing this, doing that, doing this, doing that. I stepped out of that, went back into the nine to five grind. But I still figure it out and I still move around. I still make my auditions. I still do everything I got to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you just got to figure it out. Right. That's it. Figure it out. And so I definitely, you know, I'm going to take this job um, as, you know, remote and it's doing, you know, um, another passion of mine. I'm so ambitious. I, I'm so ambitious. I'm <laughs> all over the place. You know, like you said, I, I do makeup. <laughs> I do so many things. It's, it's to a point where when people say they need something, I'm like, oh, yeah, I'll do that. You know, this guy was like, well, I need a notary. I'm like, yeah, I'm a notary. I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm everything. Well, I know I'm who to hustler. call when I need Cleveland. a notary then. I'm from Cleveland, so I'm a hustler, baby. Right. You know, that's how we exactly. do it. <laughs> exactly. I'm going to survive. That's what we going to do. I'm a realtor. <laughs> if I ever need a quick lick, I know how to go sell a house. Okay. <laughs> right? That's not what I want to do. I, you know, I want to flip homes, but yeah, if, if ever, I know. I, I got it. Right. You just got to be equipped, man. You got to equip yourself out here and, and really... Um, set yourself up for success at the end of the day you can't run around here broke you know talking about i'm an artist i'm this i'm that but you can't even fund your dreams you know what i mean like you nowadays you really have to be your financial backer just you to get you don't feel like people put on and act like they actually rich when they actually are not i feel like that's what's breaking people it's yeah. the whole facade of putting yeah. on this show yeah that too and it, it is all because of a whole you know this whole hollywood lifestyle that, that's come to atlanta now you know even before the movies is, is music like people want to live that hollywood lifestyle they want to act like they got it this and, that and the third and they want to keep up with the joneses or the rappers or whatever and it's breaking them it's killing them. And that's why there's so much fraud out here too. So much bank fraud, so much credit card scamming. And scamming. But that's all gonna cut down in 2020, 2021. But, um, but uh, you know, that America's not gonna take no L's. Yeah. No people gonna be caught. Yeah. It catch yeah. up with you. For sure. But, um, you know, that's part of the reason why I closed my Dre of the Gemini page. Because I didn't want to just be creating content, content, content. I need to generate income, income, income. Right. So I didn't have time for that. It was cute and all, you know, all the follows and, and the likes, you know, I think I had 27,000 followers by the time I, you know, was like, you know what? Let me close this account. Let me close out. Let me, let me block out this distraction. Distraction. Yep. And get my life. Exactly. In order for real, for real. Because what I'm doing on Instagram is cute and nah. But if it ain't but making no money, income. right? Not it's, meaningful income. I'm a homeowner, so a lot right. of these people on Instagram, you know, they they live. Some of these people live with their parents. Of course, a lot of them. I do. found out so much stuff. I'm like, oh, that's why you can do what you do. You know, 
You ain't got no real bills. You don't have no bills. Your real bills. And then some people do things for money that I just was not willing to do. <laughs> so <laughs> it's Atlanta. Right. Let's just keep it real. I, you yeah. know, people were doing things for money. I just didn't want to do that. Yeah. And you know, you know. Anyway, <laughs> I decided to 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 slang juices. Right. Slang them juices. I saw you have some slang packages juices. right there. What it, you got? Yes, I, I got you packed up with some samples. Um, I was blessed this morning. I had like 40 uh, juices that I had to make and I had some some leftover. I said, let me just bring these over to Cool Car. Yes, I appreciate and let that. This. Look at this. So which one you got? Okay, that's the um, Mean Green Juice. Oh my God. All that right. one has so much good stuff in it. Please shake it up. Is this, so is, now, this, is this your signature juice right here? I just made that this week. What's I just in made it? that recipe this week. It's oh, 100% before, alkaline. Hold on, real quick, before we get into this, how did you learn the mixology of this? Like, how do you know what to put in this to make it you do know, what it I'm does? You know, I'm a cook as well. I okay. cook. So I like I like food. I'm a foodie. My mama said when I was younger, you like food that much, you need to learn how to cook. <laughs> so <laughs> I learned how to cook. Um, I, shout out to my aunties, oh, my yeah. aunties. They they put me on to how to mix stuff. I've been doing that stuff since I was a kid. You know, I'm also a bartender too. <laughs> you are. So I, I did see you. Stuff. I did see you behind the bar and yeah, in a couple of your yeah so I know yeah. How to mix up some stuff. I know flavor. So I, I went on Dr. Savy's nutritional guide and mm -hmm. I just put together, I was like, you know what, I think this, 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 you know, so it's got kale, it's got watercress, it's got dandelion greens, it's got ginger, okay. oranges, green apples. Damn. Um, did I say kale? Yeah. I said kale. I smell um, it. I smell the kale. Taste it. All right, I'm going in. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. <laughs> don't be scared mm. Mm. it's got cucumber and parsley in it too i smell the cucumber i was gonna ask you that it smells so good mm. it's, re mm. it's it's fresh it, it tastes good too it's it's uh the mm. cucumber and but that oranges is what set it off mm. now that my dad right there that right there that's the dandelion green i try to put too much of that I try not to put too much of that. I made a batch. The first time I made it, it was horrible. I said, oh, yeah, I got to perfect this. It was too... <laughs> that dandelion green is, is bitter. Yeah, but no, no, no. But that wasn't bitter, though. That just, it just tastes good. Yeah, no, that one's good. I didn't I didn't perfect it. Now. Oh, you perfected it. Okay. All right, now, so... I wouldn't add it to the menu until I had it perfected. I'm a right. perfectionist, so... Is there anything special about that one? Is that one good for anything? Or is it just, just goodness going down... Through your body. It has so many good things. Um, it's it's immune boosting. It, it helps support your bone strength. Um, it helps um, anything with vitamin K in it is going to be, it, and that's all green leafy vegetables are okay. usually filled with tons of vitamin K. You know, it's just, it's extremely good for your skin. And you um, sell these in what bottle sizes? Those they come in twelve ounce bottles, but okay. those are twelve. Those are two ounces for you to sample. Okay, and <laughs> but they come in twelve ounce bottles. Drop your website real quick. Where can they get this? Organicbeautybydrea.shop. Yes. S H O P shop. So All Organic the... Beauty by Drea. And they're inexpensive, y'all. All the prices are on there. Yeah. What's this? Very affordable. Very very affordable. That was important to me. That is the pretty in pink. It is so good. What I smell. Tell me after I drink it. I'm about to go. That one is so good. That's our best seller. Mm. Grapefruit. Yeah. Grapefruit watermelon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And mint. You don't taste the mint? I do taste the mint. Yeah. It's just that little hint of mint. I don't, mm. you know, so all of, all of these are juices that I drink. I don't like a lot mm. of mint, mm. but for some reason, um, that little hint of mint does something. Mm -hmm. It's a really good, that's a really good after workout drink. Um, I just, when I met up with my, um, for my boxing training session today, I brought me my that own pretty and pink. Yeah, I brought my own pretty and pink. Um, 
juice. It's, it's, it, it acts like a Gatorade. It hydrates you and it replenishes your electrolytes. Okay. And what's yeah. that called? Pretty in Pink? Pretty in Pink. And what was the green one? The Mean Green. The Mean Green. All right. And everybody, I'm dropping the, the links in the description down below. So please go support this sister. This is some good stuff. I'm telling you. I would not lie. If it, so if it was nasty, I'd tell her it was nasty. It's, it's, it's so good. I just can't it ain't for, some of them ain't for everybody. But so far, so good. And I got a little shot over here, too. I'm going to take this shot, too. Please. You're, you're gonna have I want to help you. Yeah, that's that's the immune booster shot. So oh, that yeah. has the um, lemon lemon and ginger. Everybody needs to be you, taking that right this. now. If you're, during this, yeah, during these times? Shot. Yes. What is this? It looks like Bloody Mary. What is this? That is called the Moulin Rouge. All my all my drinks have these cute little names. <laughs> <laughs> so that's nah, that's the dope. Moulin Rouge. That's it's called got, marketing. You want me to tell you or you want to drink it first? I'm going to drink it first, but... Okay. You got beets in it? Yes. Mm hmm I smell it. I'm getting good at this, girl. You are. <laughs> you are. I'm about to take it. Hold on. Mr. Mr. Pork Eater. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Beets? Man, what was that other taste? What was the other flavor? Tell me. Carrots. Of course, carrots, yeah. And, and apples. Okay, I didn't really taste yeah, the apples Gala too much. apples, and it's, it's, a, it's a little bit of ginger. It should have been a little, yes, yeah, a little bit of ginger in there. Just a little hint. It's not anything overpowering. Yeah, I love carrot juice. I'm like, yo, what does that taste? I know that taste. Yeah, that's good. Man, this is some good stuff. That one is like the beauty. That's the real beauty Yo. drink right there. It tightens your skin. Um, I had some loose skin issues. Um, wanting to tighten up. <clears throat> it helps um, mm -hmm. with the skin, though. It makes the skin just glow because of the carrots. You know, and the apple from the fiber. The fiber helps you with your digestive system. So oh, yeah. it just makes you... Not listen. All, all my friends are like, "Is it gonna make me go to the bathroom?" Like, <laughs> no. It's 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 gone. Listen, it's in a healthy way, not in a way that's, "Oh my God, where's the bathroom?" Right. No, it's it's um everything is is good. It's it tastes so good. Oh yeah, it does taste very good. And it will oh, definitely yeah. have you. You will be regular, but not overly active. <laughs> okay. All right. It's not gonna have me up tonight, is it? No. All right. But I might be sitting on the toilet somewhere. No, no, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. All right. So you said this is lemon, right? And what? That is lemon and ginger. Yes. Oh, I like lemon. It's just like called the immune booster shot. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Let me open this up. Oof, that was a little, you know. I like ginger though. Have your water ready. I love ginger. I just have some ginger dressing on my oh, little, yeah, that's so good. my little um. What's it called? Um, hibachi salad. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's take it to the net. Oh. Oh. Yeah, oh. Oh, that hit you. That's why I gave you some water. <laughs> Lord. Oh. But it feels good, though. I love it because I drink I drink ginger beer. Okay. My wife is Jamaican, so you know I'm all into that. So okay. ginger beer and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Okay. Mm. Okay. Yeah, that's some good stuff right there. Thank you for that. Of Thank course. You. Of yes, course. Man. I can't have you just talk about it. You gotta know about it. Yeah, man. yeah. So I could be an advocate. I'm a, yes, man. I gotta send people to your site for real. Yeah. I'm gonna have to go on there and uh the With all you, my girl. drinks, you can add sea moss. Um, I sell my own sea moss. Okay. Well, this is, a, I source it from this place here. Okay. There's a guy named Jamaica, Jamaica, I think his name is Jamaican Herbal, but it comes, it comes from St. Lucia. Okay. So, um, I had to increase my price because the last batch of sea moss I got was a, was not the right company to source it from. Let's okay. just say that. All so, right. um, there's a lot of fake sea moss going around. 
So please be aware of that. That's horrible. Yeah, you know. That's horrible. Yeah, yeah. but um, yeah, this is real authentic sea moss. So um, I, you can add sea moss to any juice that you want for an additional $2. Okay. All right. Um, I, I also have... Um, what else? Mm-hmm. I have my baobab powder. What does I that sell do? this as well. It's a, it's a supplement. So because I don't drink milk or I don't eat dairy, mm-hmm. um, this has two times the amount of calcium um, that milk does. Mm-hmm. So it's kind okay. of this myth. It's a myth to me that, you know, you have to get calcium from um, a cow or, you know, from milk. Okay. You can get it from there's there's plenty of supplements for vegans and vegetarians to get their calcium. Um, it also has antioxidants and vitamin C in it. Um, all the things that we all need right now during this coronavirus outbreak. So that's an additive. You can you can add that for two dollars. You can add uh, this is you can add this for a dollar. Okay. Yeah, you can add you can add a, you can add this for a dollar. Um, the guy who um, I'm selling the reselling this for he's from Ghana. Okay. Um, this comes this comes from the tree of life. Um, in Africa. Oh, okay. So um, if you go to his page, he tells you how they source it over there um, in Africa. But I wanted, I wanted to support his business, you know. Yeah, for sure. And I love his, I like the product. I, I bought it and I used it for myself. Okay. And I loved it. So I was like, you know, I want to sell it. And I reached out to him and the partnership just got developed. That's so, what's up. It's, listen, yeah. man, look, God has his hand out. on you. It's yeah. coming together. It's all coming together, and I, it's like dope. all you have to do is just ask, you know. And That's that was it. a big, that was a big thing for me. Uh, uh, it's hard for me to ask people for help or to reach out Man, to people and ask. I'm telling you. Once you I get know. over that hurdle, though, life is just opens up for you. Yeah, all types of doors open up for yeah, you. Yeah, because it's a, it's all about the network, man. You you know, we all need somebody. You know what I mean? We all need somebody. So. It's just, yeah, like you said, it's just kind of <clears throat> setting your pride aside and just being willing to say, hey, you know what? How can we work together to make this happen? Because at the end of the day, that's what it is. You don't ever want to go and just say, help me, please. You know what I'm saying? Like, you need to bring right. something to the you table. Don't and you, look like a, you don't need a handout. Right. And But you're bringing something to the table because what are you doing? You're on my show talking about his product. Yeah, he's a wonderful guy, too. You know too. what I'm saying? So, I just got my elderberry in too. That oh, came today. So I'm about to get started with these elderberry gummies. Yes. I have to perfect it first. So once I perfect how to make them, I'm going to put it up on my website. Elderberry um, but is I, the yeah, best. I got some elderberry, which is very helpful for this um, cold and flu season. Yes. 100% organic. And what else? Um, my yoni pearls. You got yo, you with the yoni pearls too? <laughs> you got the yonis? Oh my god, let's talk about these. Let me these tell yonis. you, these yoni pearls is a game changer, ladies. Game changer. Tell me about these um, yoni pearls, man. How does that work? <laughs> I kind of did. Okay, so then I, then all the men who watch this, they're gonna know, like, oh, you had the yoni pearl. <laughs> <laughs> The Yoni Pearl, it shrinks. It does so many things. Um, I can only speak from my own personal experience, but I know other women who have used it who have fibrosis. Um, I know women who have who had trouble conceiving and used Yoni Pearls and were able to conceive afterwards. It's a uh, Chinese recipe of, of, of several different herbs mm-hmm. wrapped up in a, I think it's a all natural like cheesecloth. And you just take the string, unwrap it from the pearl, and you just kind of like stick the pearl tampon up in your wahoo. Okay. And you leave it there for about three days to detox. And after um, three days, you take it out. And you see all that nasty scar tissue on there. All that scar tissue, but also. you know, if you have, or if you're prone to yeast infections or if your pH balance tends to be off, mm. um, you know, yeah, it has you smelling like. <laughs> <laughs> and it shrinks. And when I tell you, it's like when you first put it up there, the ladies like, you know, you probably won't feel it. Mm. It's a tiny, tiny pearl. 
Okay. By the third day, you gotta feel it. Cause it expands or what? Oh, I mean, it's just a little bit. Well, but it, it it shrinks the vagina. Oh, okay, okay, gotcha. Opening. So I mean, it, it's it, yeah. So the yeah, pearl... and it also helps you with um, it makes you extra lubricated down there. Okay. Why? Yeah. Well, how does that work? Because it's you shedding. Know what? Now you know what? I don't know how these ancient Chinese herbs well, actually work. Well, I'm thinking. But I do know. I'm huh? thinking that that like because it's it's um drawing out all that scar tissue. I, I would think that that would have something to do with it. Possibly. Because it's. it's Possibly. I mean, because basically the scar tissue is like dead skin. So what happens when you get dead skin? You get calluses. It gets hard. You know what I mean? Right. So I would think that if it's drawing that out of there, then the, you know the lubrication and the whatever the juices or whatever can get the flowing again or whatever. I mean, I don't know. I'm just throwing that out there. You, you know, know what? I mean? All I know is it worked. <laughs> That's all I know. And, and is I, there? All I know is, um, you know, I used I used them once. I wanted to try them. I was I was testing out. Um, actually, you know what? When I first bought these Yoni pearls. I liked them so much and I was like thinking of a business. I hadn't even came up with my organic beauty by Drea yet. Right. Um, and I was just looking for something to sell. And I was like, well, what are you buying? And I'm like, you know, I had heard about Yoni Pearls and I wanted I wanted to try them. So I was like, you know, why don't I sell Yoni Pearls? But I don't want to just sell Yoni Pearls. And then, you know, I just kind of went through that battle. So when I came up with my juicing idea, I decided to incorporate the pearls as a beauty, yeah. you know, not? detox product. Yeah, absolutely. Why not? Juice it and yeah. Everything pearls. detox is pretty much, you know, with my organic beauty. It's about being organically beautiful. So naturally beautiful. And from head to toe and your yoni is included in that. I have so, a yoni, a yummy yoni smoothie. <laughs> a yummy yoni smoothie, girl. <laughs> Yummy, a yummy yoni smoothie. Yes, it is so good. So what is in that, and what does it do? Uh, so in that, it comes. It's a little bit um, more expensive. I think it, that one is either seven or eight dollars, but it comes with sea moss in it, and it mm. also has the baobab powder. Okay. In it, um, but it has pineapple, which we know, or if you don't know, it makes you sweeter. Uh, okay. You don't know that. <laughs> so that my, now my yummy yoni smoothie is good for men too. Okay. But it makes you, you know, it makes you taste sweeter there, down there. Oh, wow. Um, yeah. I didn't yeah. Know that. It has strawberry, it has mango. Um, wow. But the, the sea moss is, it has like 92 of the 102 minerals that your body needs, but it's also, um, in, you know, increases the libido. It's, it's known to be an aphrodisiac. Uh, so wait. just all that stimulated together with the, the pineapple juice. Yeah. So wait, yummy. wait, yummy, sea yummy. moss is known to be an aphrodisiac? Yeah. Oh, I did not know that either. Yeah. And how, how many, how, okay. Oh, you ain't know Dr. Sabi. Dr. Sabi got 17, 20 kids. You ain't know that? How many? He got 17, 20 kids. <laughs> 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 yeah. So, so, yeah, the yummy, yummy smoothie. It's got the sea moss, pineapple, strawberry, mango, the baobab powder baobab powder just to give you you know some some additional nutrients mm. um and just kind of to um mellow out the sweetness you know you don't want you don't want people don't want to drink things that are too sweet yeah yeah, yeah. you know so I, I get that so i added the baobab to make people feel like oh, okay well i'm getting some calcium and some other things too how how often should you use the yoni pearls not often at all. I've only had to use it once, and that was in April. Mm -hmm. um, it was kind of like I don't a... recommend you use it for more than... I don't recommend people purchase more than three sets. Um, I sell mine. These are $12, and you get three pearls. Mm -hmm. So you use one to start, and then if you still feel like you want to use another one, depending on what your situation is, you can use the other two, and you use two at a time. Okay. So this is really two treatments. Okay. And then the other, if you want to purchase some more, you can, but I wouldn't recommend girls use more than three or four 
I wouldn't recommend that. Any time, anything after that, you need to see a gynecologist. Right. Yeah. 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 It's, 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 it's a, um, well, depends on what you're using them for. If you're using them to conceive, you should definitely see results, I would say, in like six months. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, but I would I say about six, about six months. You just have to, you have to use them. Sometimes you may have to use all three at a time depending on your situation, just to pull the fibroid out, depending on if that's what's blocking you from being able to conceive. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I haven't had that issue, um, but I know some women through um, watching, you know, um, their experience on like YouTube, this stuff is Googleable information. So, you know, you can Google Yoni Pearl and it'll show you women who have actually had great results with, you know, getting getting whatever their goals were met with them okay wow that's yeah. interesting so before we wrap it up mm -hmm. i want to know as far as getting your clientele right how do you manage it without <clears throat> becoming overwhelmed so today was very overwhelming um <clears throat> It's weird. It's like some days I have slow days, mm -hmm. but it's it's never really slow because I, it's, it's, there's always something to do when you you run your own business. I'm also studying to be a certified nutrition coach, so it's never a dull moment. There's always something for me to do. Um, but I have days like today. You know, this lady, she's a beautiful lady. She was like, "I need forty juices." I was like, "Forty!" Oh my god! Thank God I have the bottles and you know um, the inventory and just. I think with me being a project manager, I know how to manage. Okay. You know, um, you know things when they come up. Um, <clears throat> but I was thinking, like, what if? in the middle of me doing these, this order, somebody else places an order. <laughs> what am I gonna do? And so ultimately, you know, God put me in that situation to show me that I need a team. Yeah. You know, eventually I'm gonna need a team. I'm, I'm gonna need to hire somebody, which feels good to me. Yeah. That feels good to me to know that, you know, I received that. I'm, I'm, I'm thankful that at some point, yeah, I'm gonna need to hire somebody. Mm -hmm. If for nothing else, even just manage my social media. Because yeah. I get so many DMs and I have to sift through the ones who just want to have conversation with me, mm -hmm. you know, versus the ones who actually have legit com com um, questions about my products and my juices. Yeah. And so I, I believe in customer service. Customer service is everything with me. It's every, it means everything in the world to me. Has and one of be. the issues that I have with a lot of black, especially, especially black owned businesses is the lack of customer service, um, lack of customer service and consistency. So I want to make sure that my business stands out. Um, it's not about competition, but just to show people that there can be a black owned business that provides customer service and consistency. Yeah. So, um, I'm going to need a team for that though. I'm going to need a team for that. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. I'm glad you said that because a lot of people try to, you know, do it without a team. They get overwhelmed and they underperform, you know, and things start lacking. Yeah, that's not so, yeah. acceptable yeah. here. I'm a perfectionist. Yeah, you got <laughs> that's to. That's unacceptable. Yeah. Yeah. Drop your website one more time for the viewers. Organic, organic beauty by Drea dot shop S H O P, and you can click on there. You can um, order now. You, it will show you the location. Um, I'm perfect for DeKalb, Gwinnett County residents. I'm a locally based um, business that does not offer shipping at the moment, but that is soon to come. <laughs> cool. Yes. Hey, guys. Go and support Drea. Very good stuff. You saw me drink it live on the show. I tell no lies. Um, if I didn't like it, I would tell her. It's great. Everything I tasted was great. Even the the uh, the immune booster. It was harsh, but it was good. I mean, I like that. So I like ginger. So everybody doesn't like ginger, but yeah, everything I tasted was um, spectacular. Tasted very I, good, very you remember clean. Remember that, that that Bill Cosby episode where he was doing like this? Where we <laughs> really took that medicine. That's how I imagine my cells are when I drink that immune booster shot. 
Uh, They're just dancing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good stuff, man. But yeah, seriously, I, I would definitely let you know if it wasn't. So I, I love it. I love it. So everybody go support Drea. Um, you can follow on Instagram at Organic Beauty by Drea, right? Organic Beauty by Drea, yeah. Organic Beauty by Drea. Go to the website, organicbeautybydrea.shop, right? Correct. Yeah. It's all down there. What's up? It's all she down there. The juice is working. <laughs> the juice is working. You got my mind right. But it's all down in the description, guys. Click the link. Go support business. 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 Go support this woman. She's doing a good thing. She's, uh, yeah, she's hit the ground running, y'all. So hope you uh, took something good away from this. Uh, if anything, you learned something about Yoni Pearls and juicing. And, and, and putting that good stuff in your body and some of the things that do work for some of the issues you may have, you know, some of the things that she spoke about that are the ingredients in her mixes and her mixology. So yeah, man, if you got something good out of it, please share the show, talk about it, you know, talk about Drea, talk about Cool Card. We're here to bring you value. That's what we're here for y'all, to bring you value, give you some of the answers you might've been searching for, all right? So yeah. Check me out. You know where I'm at. Cool card on Instagram. Cool with a K, card with a K. Hit Dre up. Like the show. Share the show. Subscribe if you haven't already so you can continue to get this value. And until next time, peace. We'll see y'all. You got any last words? Thank you so much, Atlanta. Thank <laughs> you so much for keeping me busy. I love you guys. Mwah. <laughs> and we out. Thanks for coming on the show.